something new to play. Wow. I had that on my 3DS. What? This was a launch title? That's weird. Hmm. I guess that's like a weird consistency with that series. Anyway, we are here. Your mom's a genius. We're here to play Mario E. Luigi Superstar Saga. Nintendo. So I I do want to mention that we we had a different plan going into this. We uh. Yeah. We were trying to see if we could figure out some way to make this multiplayer, but the setup just seemed, like, really complicated. I th yeah, like, I don't think anyone's, like, bothered to make an easy way to do it yet. Yeah. I love going to the option. There's a rumble feature? And it works on the NSO version. Oh, but it only works with controller socket 1. What a shame. So if this is a Game Boy player, it, like, we can assume that this emulator is a Game Boy player. Why can't they just, you know, do the two-player thing? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, because, like, even if you do it, like, with the multiplayer mode, I think it just counts it as, like, two GBAs. Yeah, it does. Ah, uh, like, cancel. You have the technology. <laughs> Alright. So PK is Luigi. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm in playing as PK. I'll be Luigi in spirit. <laughs> yeah, that thing don't look like no Goodwill ambassador. Wish to improve my kingdom's ties with the Mushroom Kingdom. I bring a gift from Queen Bean. Wait, should you like stream it so I can look at it maybe? Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> Wow, yeah, you're right, the rumble does work. This is weird, this is a Game Boy Advance game. Oh, smelly! Oh no, they're flying to the evil cloud! Emergency situation. Did you see the kingdom c courier? Courier? Are you sure that's a French word? Oh boy. Oh yeah, I forgot you play as this guy. Something I like is that I think the Japanese version specifically added like a D pad there. Oh, like they tell you to walk? Yeah, because I think some people just got stuck thinking the game like froze. <laughs> Good start. So I will say, I played a bit of, of this game, uh, the 3DS remake specifically, but uh... I, I I didn't get past like I I didn't get past like the first bit, unfortunately. That's I think I was like that as a kid too with like the original one. I just there's something about like the intro that kind of like holds you back sometimes. I guess. Yeah, they're gonna explain how action commands work. Mario, don't you know how action commands work, you dumbass? No. You can dodge them! No way! No. But it's really important! 
isn't there like one to <laughs> isn't there like one game where like <laughs> I swear to god they're like you can do this and then you're like no I don't need to know and then they're like this is really important and then you're like nah I'm good and then they're like I'm gonna explain it anyways <laughs> maybe I don't think that like this series really does that I was thinking, At least like, I don't remember that. Maybe like Bowser's Inside Story or something. God, why does Bowser just look like that on the overworld? <laughs> yeah, this is disgusting. I, I can't believe they got away with this. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess you had to fit the sprite size somehow, but... They just squashed his head in. This game is so weird. And I love it for it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Mrekish Tar, thank you for the thank you for the raid. The future? <laughs> Time travelers in chat? What's going on? <laughs> I swear to god, I thought it said <laughs> I thought it said you can stretch out and warm up here in the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is standard. I really should play more Mario and Luigi games. I played a lot of Bowser's Inside Story, but uh my mushroom! <laughs> <laughs> I played a lot of Bowser's Inside Story, but I never finished that one. I got stuck at, like, the last part of the game because I was a dumb kid. I'd say it's worth coming back to it. Oh yeah, of course. Especially because I bought the- <laughs> I bought the 3DS remake and never opened it! <laughs> I, like- I think I specifically got a copy of that just because people were saying, like, yeah, this is selling, like, terribly. Uh, but, uh... It's like, eh. Marek, uh, I do that a lot, too, where I'll, I'll raid people who play games that I'm playing. It's very good. I, I meant as in, like, the game's very good. <laughs> 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 no. I'm gonna be late. Luigi will stay home to guard the home front? And he's totally not going along with you. The title was a lie the whole time. Damn. I guess it is just Mario Superstar Saga. Well, thank you for the follow. You rule! The toads also look really weird in this game. Yeah, they... I love how like varied the shapes are on them in this. My precious belonging. Oh. Yeah, I, th that's not something that comes up a lot, right? <laughs> not with like explicitly hidden things, usually. Okay. There's like a few like hidden items, but they kind of explain how to find them. I can't jump that fast. This game is the best GBA game ever. Oh, well, that's it for this session. Um, I'll have you know that, uh, um, there's, like, 
like Wario Land 4 and WarioWare and... <laughs> Remember Toadsworth? I don't think they do. <laughs> the, um, Toadsworth is in the, um, the remake of this, right? Or... <laughs> Yeah, they, oh, they didn't okay. go that far. Yeah, because, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't the suitcase, like, talk? Maybe in another game. You're right. <laughs> I don't... I'm getting ahead of myself. Like, I think this is, like, the only one that doesn't have, like, a companion for them, like, at all. Which is weird, because that's typically how Mario RPGs do it, is they'll just have, like, somebody who speaks for them. Yeah, they just kind of let them, like, communicate in this game. <laughs> so, like, why- what is up with the Toadsworth Erasure? Do you think there's, like, some reason why? I- I think they genuinely just, like, forgot. Died of old age. Raisin- yeah, like, maybe he's supposed, <laughs> he's supposed to be dead or something? Died of old age. Raisin Canes was gifted to some toad. Damn. What a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they raised his cane. <laughs> <laughs> and then that toad, he's like, they said some fat bitches! <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. James! Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quoting something from Twitter, I don't actually mean it! <laughs> <laughs> well, don't turn it on me now. That's true. Is there any, w is there any winning here? It's true. This is a very Eggman-like thing, having a ship like this. I like how Partners in Time had him use it again, and then they just forgot about it. <laughs> It's interesting that Luigi doesn't want to be in this adventure in, in this game, but... You know, usually in all the other RPGs, he's like, Oh, I sure do wish I could be with you, Mario. <laughs> he had break hours to redeem in this one. <laughs> break hours. I forgot they did the <laughs> comedically large grabby hand just for him. I won't lie, like, I've seen like maybe two playthroughs of this game, and I forget so much of it. Hmm. It's it's interesting. I watched Mike play it, I watched a let's play of it, and I just I don't know. I think I've just played through both versions enough that it's just like kind of ingrained to me. I always loved this system. I mean, it's in... It's like the series staple, but like... I don't know, I've always loved this. Like, it, it matches the motion of rolling your thumb over the A and B button just perfectly. Yeah. It's a very pleasing thing to do. Also, just like the idea of having the saves be like a passport is just kind of neat. I wish saving didn't take really long. But, you know. Wow. What do we need to arrange our stuff for? I like that Luigi has more health and defense. <laughs> 
Why do they hate Doesn't each other in this? <laughs> they want to have the spotlight. But, uh, sorry for talking over you. Uh, he's just, he has just, like, more natural bulk, I guess. Also, it's weird, like, I think all the games just kind of make Luigi, like, inherently more tanky. It's very interesting to me how this game just lets you pick whoever you want to be in the lead. The other ones don't it's really do that. It's strange because then, like, the remake just doesn't let you do that if you don't, like, specifically have an ability that makes you do that. Mario has to be the leader. I'll let Luigi take the lead, because I never get to see him do this. Oh yeah, these things. The bros block. Wait. That guy's not Luigi? Why was it an L? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey! What? Maybe their names both also just start with MNL. Marty and Lewis? <laughs> So, like, what if Mario just came here on his own? He just couldn't do this. Yeah, it's weird. Like, there's just, like, an odd, like, recurring theme of green and red people in, in this entire game. Is this zit noticeable? It's also kind of weird that, like, imagine, like, going onto a plane and they take your passport photo there. I wish. That shit would be so easy. Hmm. So, like, what did Mario do when he had to go to Sarasa Land? <laughs> He found a way. Oh no, not photos! I feel like if they did a fight between them, they'd just like, make you play as Mario. I don't know. I feel like they're... I feel like Nintendo has loosened up to the Luigi love. You made Lu <laughs> Mario look stupid and Luigi look cool. What were you saying? Like, I, I was gonna say, like, they usually just let you only play as Mario, but I guess they do have, like, Luigi segments in the other games. Best viewers and followers? Ah. As opposed to, like, the worst ones? <laughs> yeah, I want to see a bot, like, advertise that they just have, like, shitty viewers. <laughs> Don't go pressing the D-pad. Okay, so I'm gonna close my eyes and see what I get, because that shit sounds fun. <laughs> okay. Alright, see ya. Take a look. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's like literally no. <laughs> it's so fucking normal. <laughs> All he did was take a step back. <laughs> Mario trying to be some cold. He's the shit. <laughs> wow. This is kind of in character. Like, Luigi would probably just listen to that guy. And no second photo, huh? <laughs> Not for now, at least. <laughs> Luigi would listen to the guy Mario's trying to be cool. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not all that bad. I mean, I could rewind. 
Mm, is that really in the spirit, though? <laughs> no. What a fucking narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you broke our barrel. The deck. No thanks. Oh, do I get experience if I learn how to fight as a pair? I think? Maybe a little bit. Oh, well, I guess I missed my... Okay. Cock and butt. Okie dokie? I know how to dodge! I, I was trying okay, to... Is... I think this is like the only time you actually just fight straight up Goombas too. Really? It's strange, like... Actual, like, straight up, like, Mario enemies are just kind of rare in these. Dude, stop skipping the dialogue. I want to follow the story, bruh. <laughs> uh, on the story of how to press the A button. It's vital info. I made Luigi get hurt. Want to break from the barrel? Ooh. What if there's tutorial lore? He <laughs> thinks this shit's Undertale. Waha! Uh, I think I'll only uh, up my HP for the entire run. <laughs> you will never die. I don't know. Do you think anyone's ever just done a run where they just go for stash? Stash is just like prices at stores, right? It's that and like how often you get crits, I think. Then yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Only Mario? Come here, you. Come here, you. Hi, Michael and Taycat and Comfy and Luigi. And Brian and Meg. M Brian, Meg, Chris, Stewie, Joe, Glenn. <laughs> Cleveland. Swing your arms from side to side. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, Brian Baker. Chris, uh, Stewie, uh, my dog Brian, uh, Chris. I like my dog Brian. <laughs> my dog Chris. Uh, my friend Joseph. Oh, new character. Yay, one! Happy level up. Why do they hate these guys? Why are they just putting them in barrels? Why did Luigi trip? I guess because Vic hit his back.
nothing. You know, for being evil, these guys aren't so bad. Can I break open the- <laughs> Wait, can I? Oh. <laughs> infinite. Yeah, infinite XP farm. <laughs> Bro, this shit look like the coolest Minecraft base of all time. Oh uh, yeah, germ, uh, smudge, uh... <laughs> oh. There he goes. Oh yeah, I like this. I like the implication that the ship just doesn't have a lookout like outside of this. <laughs> Oopla! Honestly, would you love Peach even if all she could say was bombs? I'd fear for my safety, but yeah. I know she doesn't mean it. Man. Who could have thought that in like two games this guy would be like the evilest guy in the world? I like what the remake did for this, where they, like, used the side mode to, like, explain how he was, like, how he gets to that point. Do they bridge it to partners in time? Sorta. <laughs> He's, like, the only bean guy that, uh, that's in Bowser's Inside Story, right? I think he's like the only one that shows up again until like Dream Team. I didn't know the Bean guys were in Dream Team. They're just kind of there, yeah. <laughs> oh, we get to play as Bowser now? Gotta wait like two games, sorry. I don't want to dodge this guy's attacks. I love that he moves back. Well, I, I knew the <laughs> cue, but... Bowser's gonna be like, I told you so. I warned you about the text, bro. What? He didn't say anything green! Y'all ready for this? Oh. Damn, he packs a punch. He hates Mario in particular. He said the thing. He said it. Ah, right, ah, right, he said it. <laughs> the only way I can become the only way I can save the city is if I become Superman 4.
I think this shit is how Earthbound starts. Imagine being so, like, committed to your color coding that even, like, your flame trails are just your color. Oh, we get to play as Luigi. Oh, never mind. Mmm! I wonder if Charles remembers doing this gibberish shit. Has anybody asked him? He probably does. <laughs> do you think they'd like ask him to just do it now? Yeah, like at a convention or something. Do you think Kevin's had to do it? <laughs> has Kevin been to a convention since Mario Wonder? Well, like, has he had to like do the gibberish at all? Yeah, Mario time! <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard this is like iconic. I don't know why. I think it's like the higher difficulties that are people like usually remember. Can I go back as soon as I finish it? I think? I want to do the border jump. Oh, 3D! I wish real borders just made you do a mini game. Oh yeah, I can see this shit being hard. Yeah, wow. Please try to complete them all, it's so funny. Why, don't they give you, like, a bean? They give- yeah, it's like, all, I think all the minigames give you, like, a specific bean type. I love when they do that, and they're like, ooh! Ooh. If you're, like, four, you are not passing this tutorial today. Oh, I see. This is how they weed out the, uh, the children. This is the skill check. Honestly, I think RPGs need to do that. That's not fair! They're cheating! I want to watch like Skinny Toilet. I like the idea of having a skill check for your game that doesn't even, like, actually have, like, the main gameplay mechanics. <laughs> if you can solve what 2 plus 2 is, then you can proceed. Remember, you're supposed to jump over the rope, not into it. It's just, it looks so, so cool. It looks like it tastes like caramel. It looks like flan. Oh. I love that one where they're like, ooh! Okay, yep, and this is where they go fucko mode. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Hooray. Hey, you're trying to jump exactly onto the rope. You're really good at this mini game. What can I say? Alright. Yeah, Border Jump 2! Border it's, Jump 2! It's like Rhythm Heaven. Oh. Yeah, they start like faking you out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ooh, we're gonna do it! This is mean! I can see why this shit's infamous. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it was! <laughs> 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 
Like what? What if like every country just had like a mini game in between its border? It's a different one for every country. Yeah. That's not how. Oh, you. Ooh. Woo! Imagine trying to leave the country that has like Mahjong for its mini game. <laughs> oh, only 500 points. What? Did I not get? They didn't give me nothing. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yay! Two beans! <laughs> Super border jump. EK. Yeah? I got an addiction. <laughs> I forget how many levels there are in this. Well... Whoa! Hey, I did it first try that time. Oh, I guess you get- if you just get as many beans as you- as you pass the level of? Super Border Jump 2? so. Super Border- <laughs> Super <Stop> Border Jump- <laughs> <It's not shy. laughs> You know what this fucking sounds like? What? <laughs> this sounds like some infinite- <laughs> infinite craft shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When's it gonna do the thing where it just starts like adding numbers together infinitely? Batman O'Brien border jump. <laughs> what was the other one like? Gay Batman O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. It was like Batman. Oh, yeah, Bat Batman. oh gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crabby O Mondays. <laughs> border O gay. <laughs> Can somebody get border jump in infinite craft? <laughs> <laughs> There's probably some like mobile game with that name, so it's probably possible. This would kind of rock as a mobile game. Help increase kids hand-eye coordination. Man, you're actually oh. not too bad at this. Kids play Fortnite now, I think their hand-eye is cracked. <laughs> that is true. I don't know. They're playing on console. I love that. I love- I love- but I always think it's the opposite. Hey, I have a question for anybody in chat. Any Anybody a frequent Panda Express goer? I go sometimes. Have you ever had their firecracker shrimp? I don't think I've even heard of that. <laughs> Apparently it's something <laughs> that's like a limited time item at the Panda Express on our campus. And, uh, it's like a premium item, so you have to pay more for it. But me and Garrett have an excellent prank idea. Ooh. We're gonna order orange chicken and chicken teriyaki plates, because they never have chicken teriyaki whenever we order. 
So we're gonna be like, oh, okay, can I like, uh, can I like replace that with like a uh, firecracker shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. Wouldn't for... they just give you? Wouldn't they just give you the regular price? Maybe. I mean, they get paid by the hour. Why would they care? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like their teriyaki though, it's pretty good. I do too, but they never have it by the time that we order, so... Why am I still doing this shit? <laughs> Dedication to the craft. This is gonna be the last one I do. Actually, this might be the last one, I don't know. Sunshine was the most recent one by then, so I don't know what else we'd name them. Galaxy. <laughs> Just a little teaser. Yeah. What the fuck? Galaxy? <laughs> As if they make a game like that. What, they go to space? It's so un overdone. <laughs> Can't believe they're jumping the shark already. I think this is the last one, but there's a gauntlet where you have to do all four. Oh! There's no way! There's no way! I know it's at least repeatable because you have to, like, get beans from it. Well, like, you don't have to, but, like, all the minigames let you get them. We're never gonna progress in this game's story mode. Imagine being like the Koopas that were in the ship, just like, like having it crash, and you just see these guys just doing this. <laughs> playing Call of Duty good probably takes more time and practice than playing Rhythm Heaven good. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like when you mastered one FPS, you basically mastered them all. Is anyone paying these guys? Oh, yeah. Maybe they're just doing it because it's fun. They're not even like actual border agents. Do you think Mario had to do this when he was going to Sarasa Land? <laughs> oh, yeah. Either that or they just have their own minigame. Are just landed on the other side, so no. I think next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> <laughs> New bit. <laughs> just becoming another channel. What? I never saw that before! Was I almost done? <laughs> That might have been the last one. Which one is the racist one? I hate this! I like the face these guys make when they jump. Wouldn't it be so fucking hilarious if this was the stream? We're already, like, 20 minutes in! <laughs> oh, yeah. Part 1, all minigames. There's actually like an not more game. <laughs> it's like an hour of this, and then it's just, like, an hour of Mario Bros. Alright. PK... <laughs> I feel like this would have been easier if we just had to focus on one bro. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do this with input delay, though? I wouldn't have to. I guess. 
you'd be the one that had. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to be like super crack. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <clears throat> The spinny part's so stupid, I expect them to go the other way first. It just makes sense! Okay, Comfy. Yeah, I'd like to see you take a crack at it. I'm trying, but they're going at a rate faster than my jumps! Yeah, you, you can get one more can of whatever that is. Go get one. I'll take 20! I- I oh. don't fucking focus on Mario! I've seen it in stores, I just haven't tried it though. They are going in a circle, I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah. May maybe next time, if you remind me. Great! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's the first part, so it's gonna have the box art. Yakuza part zero. The final part just has them in it. We go back to border jump. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little reminiscence thing. Oh, yeah. oh, do I need to put like a hello my name is badge? I'm so fucking tired of hearing Mario 1-1. One, one. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't read that, sorry. I think a meatloaf sounds better. I agree, meatloaf is so good. God fucking damn it, Mario, you- Streamer really loves this part. Well, hey! If this is the part, this is the part. <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like PK's playing. My fucking god. Hooray. <laughs> now you get like four beans. Yay. Oh, five. No. Yeah, that was the last one. Oh, there is like a full one, yeah. <laughs> it's 
insatiable. <laughs> he needs to do this. After this try, I am I am actually legitimately done. <laughs> no, you aren't. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, if the viewers want it, I mean, yeah. I mean, if this is what they want. I can't even get past the first part. <laughs> Man, it's probably gives it like five beans or something. That's pretty good. One more try and then I'm done. This shit's reminding me of my Pizza Tower P ranks. <laughs> <laughs> the border jump prank. God, I wish. I mean, it, it doesn't help that it's really easy to restart really fast. <laughs> more effort to give up <laughs> one whole button press maybe they'll give us beans for trying okay <laughs> <laughs> i never activated this hey can you like come back and play more please <laughs> what them or do you want me to do that <laughs> No, like, they just ask you to go back, like, we really miss you guys. I'm going back! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were so nice to oh give me that fucking God. map, you know? <laughs> might, might as well humor them, yeah. As a treat! <laughs> it's the least you could do. like one guy on the team who had to program like the rope physics. Oh, absolutely. All right, so what were we playing? <laughs> this is like an RPG. There's like, another, there's like a whole other game here. It's so weird. They added like a RPG side mode to the jump rope game. They added a post game to it. A <laughs> post game? <laughs> <laughs> it's like really the, weird, like it's a really strange gameplay change, but hey. It's like the fucking uh it's like people who refer to like the 
movie after the Bane plane crash scene, and they're like, oh, that's the post credits. <laughs> <laughs> is the stream dying? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is! Aww. Well, it's fine. They didn't need to see this anyway. I mean, this isn't jump rope. Oh yeah, fight or fly jump scare. Maybe that's why Mario Bros is in this. <laughs> it was meant to be. Dying for me. Yep. Yep, I, I, I definitely noticed that in the bottom right. It does say that. Dropping frames and the bar is red. <laughs> oh well. I mean, hey, at least you get to watch it for once. <laughs> Exclusive stream. You did. Hey, maybe this will incentivize them to actually watch the YouTube. Nothing! What? <laughs> What's up? Uh, uh, look, nothing. <laughs> I mean, there is digital style in this game. You need to True. play Mario Bros. first to learn the lore. Test rail. That was like a fucking hour of border jump. You got like 10 beans out of it at least. Money? Do we get that? Do we get to keep that? I don't know, actually. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I remember fucking Mike's voice for this guy! <laughs> <laughs> Why can't it be that Bowser the Great Koopa King is falling into my cannon? <laughs> I love that this guy's just like a really fucked up spike. <laughs> Maybe we need an emote of this guy. Well, I, I yeah, I guess we did steal his coins. Is that true? Yep. Who's in the wrong then? Uh, conversion wise. Does that mean that the Mushroom Kingdom's coin is significantly worth less? <laughs> I think so, if it's like that much lower. I guess so, yeah. What the hell is. What the hell is Princess Peach doing? Thank you for the sub... gift sub Dynamoto. I should... Twitch has a feature now where you can like choose... Like the subscriber can choose what alert they want. I should probably try implementing that. Oh, that's cool. It's just that I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna use. Man, imagine, Nothing. imagine telling your parents about the, uh, about how the exchange rate between currency and your Mario game is, is fucked up. <laughs> Go to your parents and ask them what exchange rates are. I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there's a limit, Dynamoto, but I... I don't think I could do that. 
Oh yeah, isn't there like a trick where you can like get both of them under there and get max coin? I don't... I don't think I've ever like actually like tested to see if there's any difference. But I want it? Do you need it though? Do you love me? <laughs> yeah, I want to run away now. <laughs> I wish more- I, I, I probably shouldn't get into my rant about RPGs. I want to hear it. I was gonna say, I really wish more RPGs had action commands. It's weird that it's not, like, a more common thing. I just think having, like, influence over, like, your character's health or damage, you know, through, like, actual input rather than, you know, luck and a menu option is just more interesting to me as a game design. Like, it gives you something to do, yeah. Oh. Mario's dead! Pizza Tower Cup is no different from Sippy Cup with Paw Patrol on it. <laughs> but it doesn't have a sippy part. I should have probably used that turn to heal Mario, huh? He'll be fine. Yeah, I think I can make it. It can get shitty if there's more than two characters. I guess maybe it would take more time out of, like, the game. Never mind, we don't learn that yet. I love the sign just going ab 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 ab. Oh, you have to hold. Which, I mean, they, they were kind of based for that, though. Because, they, I mean, come on, it's a rhythm game? Yeah. Like, that's cool. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, these guys. You know, I used to think that they were just wearing, like, a really big sweater or something over their mouth. But the fact that that's, like, teeth... Oh. They just have, like, a spam pin, Brandon. Yeah. I feel like the solution to that, Michael, I mean, other than the obvious, you know, uh, <laughs> other than the obvious, you know, don't have that many minigames would just be to, you know, maybe make the characters have less health or do more damage so you don't have as many turns. Or just, like, tie it to, like, specific moves only. True. Oh, 
I wonder if there's a mod that lets you play as these guys. <laughs> I mean, they've got like a lot of sprites already. Oh. Oh boy. Can't wait to learn about this. No! Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's Border Jump all over again! It's the same song! Say it again, <laughs> Dexter! <laughs> World's first S Sisyphean video game. Oh, that's weird. I didn't know it was timed like that. I think the remake just made it, like, a standard thing. Speed! Oh, that's not piggyback. Kinda weird. You can't do it for that long. They're just that good at it. I should have fallen down and seen how they reacted. Yeah, make you do like the border jump again for some reason. I don't get them. <laughs> Will they give me a bunch of money if I do this? If you a lot. If pops like the sixty four, then what's the sunshine equivalent? Uh Get if you unlock things in like the other mode. I think I can just do it all in one go. Yeah. Let's go. Oh wait, you're not co out this way. You gotta go down. Sounds like fail music. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Like if you get like fourth or lower in Mario Kart, that they'd start playing that in the results. I guess it is kind of hitting after like a plane crash. I think hypothetically speaking, yeah. There's like a few cases where you're like forced to get hit, but I don't think those like actually do damage.
Can you beat Donkey Kong Country without collecting a single coin? <laughs> they found this out years ago. The researchers were on it. <laughs> we have technology. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. I gotta get used to this control scheme. It's very weird to me. The answer is always yeah, but it isn't very fun. About what? The challenge videos, I guess? You're right. I'm obsessed with those videos, though, for whatever reason. I guess it's just, it's, like, satisfying seeing somebody else do it. I like when they do the thing where they start and just immediately go, like, no, you can't. I... Me, personally, I'm not... It's I'm not too fond on the ones where it's, like, what they set up to do in the title you can't actually do yeah so it's like, it's like oh there's like you can do it with like stipulations it's like why are we here then yeah or it's like you know like oh well you can't but let's see how far you could go or you know like the minimum or whatever yeah, it's like at that point just name it like what's the minimum but then the title would be too specific and then they won't get their viewership Ah, darn. Can you beat Pikmin 3 Deluxe without, uh, without Rock Pikmin? Or with only Rock Pikmin, I mean? Can you beat Pikmin 3 Deluxe without Charlie? I mean... It depends on what you mean without Charlie, like without saving him or just without using him. I guess just using him. I but that one's probably just better to just see if you could do it with like one captain though. I think there's a puzzle immediately after saving Charlie that requires three captains. <laughs> well, you might be able to cheese it because there's like the box that you can push down at the uh, on the tropical wilds. I'm so excited to do this. I won't lie, the bros attacks are, are kind of scary to me. They're a little intimidating. It's strange that this is like the only game where they're actual like co-op moves and not just like an item. I, I, dude, if, if we had the shell, I'd just be choosing that all day. Oh. Let me press the button! But they gotta tell you to press the button. That wasn't me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> They're really interesting in one. Yeah, they have like the special versions later. Oh yeah.
he might be four after all. What does that mean? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> but the shell is so cool. <laughs> Did you not like doing, like, the endless shell mode? It's gotta be cool, it's in, like, every other game past this. Actually, yeah. it's technically kind of in this game, too. We didn't even get to pull it off?! <laughs> At least let us practice! <laughs> wow, they just put you on level 4 by default, huh? Or, oh no. Easier for the first try. Oh no, no, no. I, I'm reading it wrong. The the yellow number is the level. Okay. Well, it's just ABA, right? Yeah, you know, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, bounce, bros, bro, bounce. I can probably figure this one out. It's basically just the inverse. Oh. Lily just sent me a snap. No way. Miss. I don't check anybody's snaps. I was talking about this during Pikmin, but I think I've psychologically fucked with Snapchat because there was this one time I was trying to catch up with snaps and I was looking through them and then you went like, wow, the two weeks worth of snaps uh, and you just looked at them in like 10 seconds and I'm just like, well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> If I don't look at him, then I get harassed for not looking at him. If I do look at him, I get harassed for looking at him. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I think looking at the middle eventually is good enough. Thank you. That was like the first time that I, I fell behind with the snaps, and you were just like... Wow, he looked at them all in like 10 seconds. Yeah, and it made me feel bad. notification every time somebody watch one of yours I mean yeah in a way I guess it's kind of funny <laughs> but I don't know it just made me very paranoid that I wasn't like valuing it enough or whatever Honestly, Snapchat would be the kind of platform to give you a notification if somebody looked at your snap. 
They send a notification when you like hover your finger over the app icon. They would do that shit. It's like, not... Ooh, they might be looking. <sighs> Dynamoto took it's a over... screenshot of chat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if Discord did that shit, it'd be over. <laughs> Doing that for like every server you're on. <laughs> I really I, I really can't see people using it for that even though like it's obvious right like uh, like obviously it would be for that but it's just hard for me to see somebody be able to get the rocks off looking at the little freaks icons <laughs> yeah they're just looking at that specifically <laughs> I, I mean, like, they're just- they're always there, looking. <laughs> they're just silently judging you. go to Target and watch Hallmark movies don't mind. What does that even mean? <laughs> Is there like a correlation between those two? Average bit emoji enjoyer. It would be so much better if it was a me. Why did they just have like an update where they made them look like exponentially worse? I assume this just takes me back. Yeah. Well, I don't believe you. I guess there is something. Dude. If only Snapchat just had me's or like something that was a appealing and not uncanny. I feel like it would be better if they also still just, like, use the 2D ones. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, too. Oh, for a second there, I thought I, knew, thought I was about to... I forget what he says. You're about to lose your jet. Did they ever say that the combo was freaky? I feel like that might be one of them. That sounds real. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. I mean, this guy's a pushover, right? He's not too bad. I think AK still doesn't have a bitmoji. Yeah, 
Yeah, he just got away with not having one. I do remember the Snapchat hot dog. I think it's still there. You have to find him. <laughs> the only filter that I have liked is two Soyjacks pointing. I don't think I've ever used, like, any of the actual, like, full-on filters. Oh, fuck. Should have more tea. Oh shit. How much health does this guy have? Plenty. Twenty? <laughs> <laughs> Plenty. I, I know, I know. That was a uh, that was a, a Quinn reference. <laughs> uh I think I might have told this on stream before, but we were doing some assignment in high school and we were interviewing each other about stuff or like, you know, asking each other about stuff. And Quinn got asked, like, how much water do you drink? And he said, plenty. And they went, 20? <laughs> 20 what? 20 waters. I don't- I know the Japanese version is, like, easier by technicality because it has, like, the, like, health blocks, but I don't know if they actually made the game easier. It's kind of interesting that the, uh, American version of this came out first. Yeah, that's, like, strange. That would but, make you think, eh. like, that would make you think, like, oh, Alpha Dream is an American developer, but no. They were just kind of feeling different that day. Remember when Smash Wii U just came out first year for some reason? I completely forgot that that was the point in which games came out with in different regions at different times. It was weird because I think it was like... They specifically did, like, the inverse of what the 3DS version did, with its, like, schedule. <laughs> ain't that- ain't that the guy that taught us about the bros attacks? Why is he on- why is he bad now? Oh, you're clogging up the cannon. Stomp on the fire! And well, Bowser's gone. He did that to clear the cannon out and then it just vanishes anyways. I feel like uh, we're not gonna see him until like the end of the game. I still can't get over these fucking passport photos. <laughs> I feel like a lot of rooms in this game feel like Delta Rune rooms. Alright. What are you doing? Was I supposed to be able to get up there? I think so.
I didn't even get past the first fucking one. <laughs> what if this happened to you? Depending on how you vote this year, it could. <laughs> They're gonna make both of those guys real. I'd play jump rope. <laughs> I'd play jump rope to get to Magfest. What, they get to do it in between every state? Yeah. They force you to play. I don't know how to play Tiddly Winks. <laughs> yeah, it's all just regional games. I love. There's this like one voice actor meme video I saw once. It was like. <laughs> it was like out of context, like. Tiddly Winks shit. And it's like a. You. You cannot play a squawked wink! <laughs> Imagine trying to get to like Hawaii and they make you surf all the way there. Do you think they don't- Do you think if they made another Mario & Luigi game they wouldn't let them do that because it's offensive? Oh, maybe. He still does that. I mean, I haven't like really hmm. heard people complaining about him. So, didn't um, what's his name? Chris. Mm -mm. I forgot his last name, but the guy at Illumination. Didn't he say Mario was kind of offensive? I like to imagine that was like before they made the movie, so he just kind of like went back on it. No, not Chris Pratt. The 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 director, the guy who helped Puss in Boots: The Last Wish get out of development hell. Whenever I hear this song, it makes me think of um. This song is like, do 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 do. Do 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 do. You think anyone just made a rip of that? Nah, I don't think so. I think I had that idea for a while, and then nobody. I I don't know how to do Game Boy Advance. Uh huh. I think everyone thought that. Yeah, whenever Miyamoto would say that him and Chris are talking, I was like, Really? Pratt? They're just good friends. Can you guys believe uh, filming for the Minecraft movie is already done? It's like... Do we know when that one's coming out at all? No, maybe? I feel like that movie's just gonna, like, appear someday. Like, early next year? Will you be watching?
dude, like, what what if they made it about the, uh, the warden? And then, like, uh, it shows the portal in the deep dark actually having a use. And then they add that in the game. That would actually be kind of cool. Awful so stupid. He's just a silly guy. Oh no, a rock! An angry rock! And we gotta go to the smiths. This is making me think of the, uh... Amtaro GBA games for some reason. I mean, same developer and all, but, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I think Alpha Dream made those. I still need to play, like, Tomato Adventure at some point. The whole switching characters to use different abilities thing is is kind of it's taken a bit to get used to yeah it has like a bit of a curve i mean if they can put wrecking crew 98 on nso what's stopping them from just putting everything you know just put mother 3 on there in japanese Super funny. I just think it would be really funny. Wait, like, can I not fix this? <laughs> well, you have other moves. Hi. Oh, yeah. This cannot be undone! I still think it's kind of funny that they had to, like, actually fix that. They had to fix what? Oh, the Mother 3 thing? Like the, yeah, the icons. Did you get At yours? least they bothered to fix it. I did. Dude, no matter what you hit me with, you can't knock me down, I think. I like how... I like how the remake just made that guy, like, a comically large Koopa. <laughs> Oh, I want to love the remake because I mean I think visually it looks very good. It's just I think like, that's like really the only bad thing it did. It's like any any existing Mario enemies just look like their standard appearance. It's weird because like there was they made the boomerang bros bros still look the same, but they just renamed them. So I don't know why they didn't do that with the other ones. Where's the smiths? I think they're like at the edge. The edge? The edge of town. Oh. Stan, you fumbled the bag, get back to edging. But why couldn't he name him Gooner, man? Like, what's wrong with that? Well, I mean, he said that people hate gooning. No, I haven't. Where are they?
How is this done? Alright then. We can't make hammers no more! I think we should do that next mag fest. We should walk. <laughs> we should. <laughs> we walk up. <laughs> we what? We what? Yeah, go, go on. on. <laughs> Some random guy. <laughs> we go like, hey, yo, is this the uh, is this the Goonie convention? I don't know why I'm imagining it. Like you walk up to the guy and you're just like fucking stopping wet. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Anyway, they're making a hammer. That took a lot out of me, by the way. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck happened, but I'm like, a, I'm exasperated. <laughs> took all, all of your might just to get that out. I just the concept is so fucking funny. Like, what do you even do if someone asks you that? Uh, sorry, buddy. Next door. <laughs> Maybe next time. So wait, what did he want us to do? Find stones? You kind of just wait around until they fix the bridge. Oh. I don't know what- what- yeah, there it is. It, I don't know what triggers it, it just kind of happens. Oh no! Oh no! I smell toast! <laughs> no! I will never get over that because like you know it's supposed to be that that edit of like the Mario movie in reverse it's supposed to be him having a heart attack but I had to, I just said I smell toast and then fucking Dynamoto goes stroke <laughs> What if you got like one of the status indicators and it, it was just a stroke status Will that be insensitive <laughs> if like, you try to use like you try to use like the item that like removes statuses and just doesn't work. I was gonna say like if you had like an RPG and you just had like a stroke status, would that be insensitive? <laughs> Is paralysis offense? See, I thought about that. Like. Pokemon is like I the think it, Pokemon's like the only thing that does that. I think it's like just a case of that word just being used for like multiple things that are just kind of different. Yeah, like, and I've thought about that too because it's like to be paralyzed doesn't necessarily mean to have the medical condition of paralysis. It, it, it could just be you know that you're just stuck. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, does- is there, like, an inherent link to, like, electricity in that? Name one RPG. Okay! <laughs> Quick name ten books is wild. <laughs> Michael, would you rather, would you rather have $500,000 in your hand right now, 
for a scheduled dinner with famous rapper and now acquainted businessman Jay-Z. <laughs> You're not gonna like what Jay Z has to say about the question. <laughs> oh no. Oh fuck. No. Woo bean. I started fucking thinking about the video Autumn sent me. <laughs> well, if he told you that, would you believe in yourself? You're not gonna like what you're not gonna like what Jay Z has to say about tomorrow, people. <laughs> like just randomly during the dinner, I don't know where he says something about that. <laughs> what the hell, man? Where'd that come from? Yeah, so uh, you just gotta believe in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it's like... <laughs> Why does he sound like that? <laughs> That's what he sounds like in the <laughs> TikTok! <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that to be offensive! <laughs> I gotta end this shit soon. <laughs> I think Border Jump just like fried our brains. Oh, don't worry. We'll go back next week. Oh. I made him sound like Mr. Stick. <laughs> 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 They're both businessmen. <laughs> you made him. S <laughs> You made him sound like Mr. Stick. Oh my Established God. voice. Wait, what do you do? Oh. You spin. I remember when they made this look more flashy in the remake. I give him the money I declined, and he flies away with the propeller! Those, like, rainbow propeller hats, or what? Uh, no, like, pizza tower. Oh! <laughs> Why can't Luigi do it? <laughs> we'll go in! <laughs> What's the boss that he's gatekeeping? Kanye, I don't know. <laughs> When's the next save block? Oh. You go into the you go into the boss gate and you you're greeted by I heard him say I gotta get I have to fucking get out of here. I have tears in my <laughs> eyes. I hope I haven't been like too quiet during this. You have not. You're fine. Just gotta get used to trying to talk more. <laughs> oh my god, I'm rubbing my eyes now. <laughs> oh.
That was good. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for tonight. I I'm so tired. Uh. Also, everybody answer a uh, Comfy's quirky question in the Discord. <laughs> Can we do pit cross? I'd love to do pit cross at some point, maybe over the summer. We can we can make a comeback to pit cross. <laughs> I like Mario pit cross would be nice. Well, I I have pit cross S. I never finished it. All right, let's look for somebody to uh, raid. Um, let me check this channel. I think they're fine. Okay. I saw somebody in my recommended that's streaming Splatoon 2. Or, not 2, 3. Uh, that's how out of it I am. Uh, and in terms of the schedule on Thursday, uh, we'll probably be finishing up uh, Sonic Riders and uh, keep going with Knack. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll see you all then. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.